sounds like it's mail time. Hey you guys, this is Artesia with my unique styles and I'm bringing you a hair review. Yes, a hair review. Oh my god, I'm so excited you guys. I haven't done a hair review since the Kara hair, Afro kinky curly hair, but now I'm giving you JK kinky curly, Afro kinky curly clip-ins. Now I'm showing you guys that uh, basically I got this DS DHL through AliExpress and within five days, so it wasn't that long. And also, I feel like these clip-ins are a little comfortable. You know, it's it, it's made differently. Pretty much, I feel like they use like a fabric to kind of uh, lay the tracks on which makes the hair go a little bit flatter and I'm just so glad it's not tracks and clip-ins because that irritates my head. So I decided to, the reason why to have them send me some is because it has this uh, protector to give you an invisible look. So pretty much uh, I'm showing you guys how many tracks that they do sew on it, which they sew like I think four tracks on it, which is pretty darn good because it basically they give you more hair than what usually normal uh, hair vendors give for clip-ins. So I felt like it was a really good, you know, and it's a good price. So pretty much I'm dyeing the hair in magenta high colors uh, with L'Oreal and I'm using foil and I have my 30 developer and pretty much I'm not going to use too much developer because I feel like, you know, if I use too much developer, I just, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to drizzle it because you got to drizzle that color, honey. And then I'm going to just stir it uh, till it gets to its liquid tea form. So pretty much I have the foil laid out and I'm going to lay the hair down. And pretty much with afro kinky hair, I like to start with the top. Because my hair is lighter red on the top, I feel like if I was to uh, put the lighter red on the top that it would process uh, faster, I guess you could say and then towards the end it'll get darker like my hair so that's why I was coming at it like this usually it would be the bottom and then the top but so pretty much you're just going to rub it on there and with kinky hair it's kind of hard you kind of at the ends have to really get it in like because the hair is so curly you got to make sure that each strand of the curls it has dye on it so I will be doing a transition from long to short. It's a big transition for me. All right, now I'm at that stage where I'm like, uh, let's see what else I could do. Um, and also, you know, I'm going to be cutting the wefts just for fullness and not for length. So I'm just uh, excited to see how this goes. So next, I'm just going to foil it. And pretty much the foil just keeps the heat in and makes the process faster and I let it sit for a good hour and a half now you guys um, I did not dye the other parts of the bundles uh, the other clip-ins I just wanted to show you guys the curl texture before I had dyed them and this is what it looks like so as you can see kind of dried a little bit and the curls just kind of form so good so heavenly oh my god so pretty and it looks like my hair to the curl pattern so that's why I got this too you guys um, pretty much this is what it looks like the curls um, before I have dyed them I think the curl pattern is maybe like a 4a 4b and a 3c I'm not sure it looks like a 4 4b at the end I'm not sure So as I was washing the hair, I would go and check on the hair that's processing every 15 to 25 minutes. Um, it was an hour and a half, and voila, look at that color, you guys. Man, so you got the burgundy showing through, and I love it, but I want to make it a little bit lasser, longer because I don't know if it is. But I'm going to use shimmer lights, and basically I use a strand of clip-ins just to test it out and see where the color's at before I do any other clip-ins. And if it's too dark, then I let it stand. The other clip-ins, I let it stand for a good 30 minutes. Let me know. I know I'm 
So as you can see, um, yeah, I ended up going back and redying. I mean, well, letting this sit. But now here is the results after everything was dyed. Um, pretty much, I'm just showing you the curl pattern. The curl pattern it got looser as I dyed it, and as you can see here, the curls on that side look different. It added like four inches, literally, of length. So here is the curl pattern. It's still pretty. I feel like that's why I got really tight curls um, so that when I dyed it, it'll loosen up and it's not too loose. The hair is very soft even after dyeing it. And I feel like the curls are so beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys the, these different styles. And I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, describe. Description will be in the link. Bye.